infraction, no consideration, flings himself into an engagement, these headstrong young packs. Your service, monsieur. Ah, good morning, Mr. Mayor. You're thinking about your son's affair. It makes me furious. Life is full of letdowns, monsieur. Be prepared. I remember these ancient words of wisdom that I heard a long time ago. What? When a father's been away from his family for even the shortest amount of time, he must be prepared. Picture his house burnt down, his money stolen, his son a cripple, his wife dead, <laughs> his daughter raped. <laughs> and whatever doesn't happen to him seems like good luck. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Me, I take this to heart in my own humble and thoughtful way. When I come home, I expect the worst from my masters. Rages, reproaches, threats, even physical damages from kicks in the butt and sticks and straps. And whatever doesn't happen to me, I thank my lucky stars. Yes, yes, but this outrageous marriage interferes with another one over here, and I won't put up with it. I have spoken to some lawyers, I'm going to dissolve it. Good God, listen to me! You know what lawsuits are. You'll dive headfirst into a pile of prickles. Yes, but what other option is there? I've come up with one. <laughs> my sympathy for you got me wondering, how can I pull you out of this mess? Now it troubles me when I see kind fathers embarrassed by their sons. And let's face it, I have a special affection for you. Oh, much obliged. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so, I was talking to the girl's brother. He's a professional thug, always waiting for a chance to stick his sword into a nearby stomach or snap a spine in two. After I muddled him up for a bit, we came to this. Financial agreement. Give him the agreed sum, and he's willing. How much did he ask? Yeah, first it was the ceiling, it was the roof, it was the sky. Then? That's still much too high. And? He'll accept no less than five or six hundred francs. I'd like to give him five or six hundred diseases. Does this comedian take me for an idiot? Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Told him you were nobody's fool. Down flat, no way. <laughs> so after we argued back and forth for some time, we came to this. He said, I'm in the army, and I'll need the equipment. I mean, the cash for it. That's why I'll let you pay me off. A good horse will cost me at least 60 francs. 60? Fine. Well, that's hard as some pistols. Another 20. 80 altogether. Correct. Ah, I can't afford it, but if I must. My servant also needs a horse, too, he says. To hell with him! Let them both walk! Now he'll get nothing! Uh, monsieur! No, he's a thief. You don't expect his servant to gallop on foot now, do you? For all I care, they can both gallop on their heads. Don't hold back now, monsieur. It's not much more. If you pass through the jaws of the lawyers, they'll chew you dry. Oh, God, all right. Add the thirty francs. My servant also needs a mule, too, he says. To carry... To hell with him! Him! His son and the mule! I prefer the judges! On oh, well, sober reflection, I'm going to court. Oh, but one little tiny mule. I wouldn't give him an ass. But, 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 but think! No, it's the law for me. Think! Look what you're getting yourself into. All the handicaps in the legal system. <coughs> Appeals to lower and higher courts. <coughs> exhaustive forms and exhaustive interviews. <coughs> Fifty more than what this man is asking. 
I'd rather have lawyers make snide cracks about me in public. I pay 300. I don't give a damn. I defy the lawyers to find anything funny about me. They don't deal to fix best, monsieur. If I were in your shoes, I'd run like fury from the law. I will not give this man 200 francs. Well, <coughs> you can tell it to his face. Here he is. Security. 